Good evening. My name is Victoria Gaeta. I'm the Director for Community Education with the Southwest School District. And uh, today, we're uh, celebrating uh, accomplishments of students across the district. And uh, tonight, we want to recognize and celebrate the ac accomplishments of our parents and adult learners. So if you would please stand. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Thank 
you, Ms. Jimenez. I'd like to welcome our superintendents of, superintendent of schools, Dr. Lloyd Burstyn. Thank you. You may be seated, please. And before I, I give a welcome, I just want to remind everyone this is a very festive time. It's a very happy time. So I'd like to ask our graduates, would you, first of all, please, Turn, find your family members and wave to them and smile real big because this is a very good thing. Good evening to be here. And I'd like to say on behalf of Southwest ISD, our 14,000 students, 1,500 employees, and on behalf of our school board members, two of which happen to be here, we have Ms. Yolanda Garza Lopez and Ms. Flo Bernal uh, supporting this event uh, this evening. Uh, we welcome you to Southwest High School, and uh, I want to say to our graduates this evening how very proud we are of you being a role model and really exercising persistence and finishing this very big life achievement. And uh, you should feel very proud to be in these seats right now. And there are other young students who look up to you for never giving up, for always pushing forward. And something put you in that green robe and that beautiful hat here tonight. And whatever that something is, uh, we'd like you to take that beyond this evening's ceremony and use it in life because life, life is gonna deal you cards sometimes and you have to persist through that. The fact that you're here uh, tells us volumes about who and what you are in life. And I just can't express enough how very proud we are. I want to point out a few other people who have really helped us in Southwest ISD understand the importance of persistence, the importance of celebrating uh, these types of achievements. Uh, one of those people is in the audience, and her name is Dr. Patrick. Uh, and the other person is sitting up here in front of you. Her name is Dr. Pittman. Uh, and these two ladies have been mentors to Ms. Gaeta, who has now taken over this program and doing really great things to them. Uh, you have their love and you have their belief in you. Uh, and I just want to point them out because they're true extraordinary people in our school district who really believe in our youth, believe in our adults, and believe in success. And so because of their journey, we all are here, gathered here this evening. So welcome to Southwest ISD. Let's have a great ceremony and let's be happy about your achievement this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Versa. I'd like to welcome a gentleman who's going to be delivering a very motivational speech for you. His name is Mr. Alex Lara. Let me uh, start by, by saying uh, thank you to all the GED uh, leadership uh, for allowing me uh, this honor to speak to y'all guys tonight. And in addition to that, I'd like to once again congratulate you on your achievement. In fact, can we give them another round of applause for the GED graduates? Today, I want to talk to you on the subject of the starting line. Uh, but before I get into that, I just want to tell you my story. Uh, I grew up in a single parent home. Uh, my my mom and I were abandoned by my father by, at the age of five, when I was five years old. And he went back to Mexico. I never saw him again. By the time I was in middle school, I was involved in illegal activity and hanging around with gangs. And by the time I knew it, when I was in high school, I was very deep uh, in this type of lifestyle. And, it, and it would come, what would ha end up happening is I would end up dropping out of high school at, in the 10th grade. I would go back to high school, South Sand High School. I would go back the next year only to drop out only three months into the school year. Long story short, fast forward three more years, I'm 19. I still do not possess a high school education. And I hear about the Southwest GD program and all these wonderful things and positive things. So I enroll. And immediately, I am impressed and encouraged and challenged 
even corrected by the teachers, um, to obtain my GED, and not only obtain my GED, but they believed in me that I could go beyond that. And I'll never forget the phrase that one of my GED teachers told me. She said, you obtaining your GED is not the finish line. It's the starting line. It's not the finish line. It's the starting line. I would take the test, pass everything but the written part, would go back, and eventually I passed it. Fast forward a couple of, about six or eight years, and I recently uh, obtained my second master's degree, and now I've just been accepted into the doctoral program and just finished my first year. So, I want to challenge you today with that same phrase that my GED teacher challenged me 16 years ago. I know it says 2006, but it's actually was 16 years ago. And that phrase is, GED grads, this is not your finish line. This is your starting line. So the question I want to answer today is, what are those next steps that you as these graduates have to take if you're going to make your vision or your dreams a reality? The first one is don't downplay your diploma. GED grads can do great things, and they have done great things. 50 Cent, the rapper, <laughs> has revolutionized the rap industry and is now an entrepreneur who has made hundreds of millions of dollars selling water. Jim Carrey has made billions of people laugh with his gift of comedy throughout the world and also has made millions of dollars doing it. Peter Jennings changed the way we, we saw the news being done, the methods, and he is a, was a talented journalist uh, that did the news for NBC. Other than their great accomplishments, they all have another thing in common. They were all GED graduates. GED graduates, have and can do great things. And I want to tell you, don't downplay this achievement. You can shake the world with whatever gifts you can fulfill, whatever calling you are feeling led to. What determines what, how great you will be is not just a piece of paper, but what determines your greatness is the character and the passion of the person's name who's written on that paper, and that's you. You GD graduates can do great things. The second step I want to challenge you is surround yourself with people that can help you. Surround yourself with people that can help you. What I mean by that is get around people or seek out people that, will, that have accomplished and done more than you. People like this can challenge you, challenge your work ethic, can get you out of your comfort zone, can make you see the world in a different way. You will find these people, you can find these people at your college that you may be pursuing after this. You can find these people at the gym, at your workplace. Get around people who have accomplished more, who've been there, who've not only been there and done that, but have accomplished that, have overcame that. And if you can't find people like this, find yourself some leadership books. Find, read some biographies of, of people that you look up to and study the process, study the things they had to go through and they had to do to achieve greatness. Another thing I will tell you, and this one is for all the friends and family of the graduates. Friends and family of these GED, of these GED graduates, I want to encourage you to encourage them. I want to encourage you to encourage them. You can, there's a thousand ways you can do that, but I'm going to give you two ways. Number one, you can encourage them through your words, friends and family. Words have the power to build or they have the power to destroy. They're going to need your encouragement over the next couple of years. Your words can build them when their obstacles and their adversity that they are facing has torn them down. Your words can be fuel to them that will give them the endurance to keep on going when they feel like they can't take another exam, take another class. Your words can encourage them and help them. And little things, not just words, because it's not just about only saying it, but let them see it. Your actions. Little things like maybe sponsoring their books for the first year of college. Or maybe buying them a car. They actually pay me to say that, parents. <laughs> but little things like this can go a long way. Maybe taking care of their kids while they're going to school. Whatever it is, let them not only hear it, but let them see it from you. Another thing I want to challenge you, GED graduates, is don't be afraid to remove 
toxic people from your life. Don't be afraid to remove toxic people from your life. The first, within the first year I obtained my GED, I had one childhood friend that was killed while he was doing unlawful things. I had a second childhood friend, and I say childhood friend because I had known them since I was small, who murdered two people on the south side of San Antonio. The method in which he did it was so brutal, it not only came on case at 12, it came on CNN. Not to mention the other people who were in my circle of friends, they all had the same mentality. Seems like they had no goals, no ambition, but other to, than to do bad. So I had a tough choice to make. Either I remove myself from people like this, or eventually my next steps are gonna be to the morgue or to prison. I had a very tough choice to make. And I, I made the choice to remove them out of my life. I stopped hanging around with them. I, started, I stopped going to the places they went. And you know what? It was very hard. It was very lonely. But I look back over my life 16 years later, and it was worth it. And if I had to do it all over again, I would do it, the same thing. And I know some of you may be here, and you're like, well, I don't have friends that are thugs, or I don't have friends that are murderers. But you don't need to have friends that are thugs or murderers to have a toxic circle. If the people you surround yourself with don't respect or honor the changes that you are trying to make in your life, if the people you surround yourself with do not want you to succeed, they can murder and steal your future if you allow them to. So I want to encourage you, do not be afraid. It will be tough. You may have some lonely days, some lonely nights. But I tell you, I'll tell you in the long run, it's going to be worth it. The last thing I want to tell you, encourage you to, is to dream big. Don't be afraid to dream big. When I went to the GD program, I had people who believed in me and saw potential in me that I did not even see in myself. And that's good, and you need that. You need people like that. But that's not enough. You need to believe in yourself. The first year, immediately after I obtained my GD, I enrolled in college. And I almost quit before I even started because I had tons of remedials I had to take. I think they even made up remedials for me. Not to mention, I was going to have to do it in the night. At that time, the night classes were three hours each because we could only meet once a week. Then I had, was given the bad news that my mom had a terminal disease and she eventually passed. So here I am, you know, after earning my GD, I had all these big dreams that I wanted to obtain, and now I'm on the verge of quitting, and I have not even started. And I realized 16 years ago that it's not, a it's not enough to fall in love just with your dream. You have to fall in love with the actions that, will, that are necessary, that must be taken to make your dream a reality. What actions are those? Character traits like consistency, like discipline. Be willing to, be, to sacrifice your time and money. Be willing to delay instant gratification for long-term success. And I'll tell you right now, what got you up to here is not going to get you to the next level. There are certain traits that you may not have that are necessary to get you to the next level in your career and your education, but that's okay. You're going to have to develop them. Someone said, how do you eat an elephant? Piece by piece. And you may not possess all the character traits. You may not be an avid reader. You may not be very good at time management. You may not be uh, um, someone who disciplines himself to study every day. But those are all things that you can do piece by piece, day by day. When you believe in yourself, you'll dream big. When you believe in yourself, you will dream big. We can show that, that picture. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that's me and the Iceman, George Gerving, Hall of Famer, former Spur, and he actually was the speaker at my GD graduation. They didn't have enough money to have him back, so y'all got me instead. <laughs> but this is minutes after I just finished speaking at the groundbreaking of a multi-million dollar facility. We can show them the next picture. This is me, and I'm, I'm saying a few words for Nico LaHood. And I'm up there. I was escorted by security up there to the stage, and I'm standing shoulder to shoulder with Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, 
senators, former senators, current mayor, former mayor. And I almost threw up, I was so nervous. Never in my life, 16 years ago, when I was sitting in the same seat that you were, would I ever think that I would be up there doing things like this. But you know what? I believed in myself. And I'm not showing you this, these pictures to brag about myself. I'm showing you these pictures because if you'll dream big, if you'll believe in yourself, if you'll surround yourself with the right people and subtract the negative people, if you'll be willing to put in the hard work, even when things get hard, you too can do great and mighty things in the area that you may feel led to pursue. So dream big. I want to challenge you to dream big. Just don't see yourself working at a certain corporation. See yourself running the corporation. Just don't be satisfied with a job promotion. Be an entrepreneur and start your own business. You've attained your GED, now shoot for your PhD. I challenge you to dream big and to do big. I'll leave you with this. Before, and we can go back to the, the starting line picture. Before track runners take off, and we've all heard this familiar phrase, they'll say something that kind of sounds like this. Are you ready? Get marked, get set, go. And I leave you with these words as I end this speech. Are you ready? Get set, go. Dream big. Believe in yourself. Surround yourself with the right people. GD graduates, this is not your finish line. This is your starting line to bigger and better things. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Lara. At this time, we want to honor a long-standing tradition in community education by recognizing a student who has shown remarkable dedication to learning. In spite of many obstacles in her footpath, this individual overcame and achieved her goal by putting education ahead of everything and staying the course while being pulled in so many directions. Let's watch together. Award is awarded to individuals who, over the school year, have exhibited determination, perseverance, a passion and excitement for learning, and a never-ending curiosity about the people and the world around them. Lifelong learners are a true example of the spirit of the journey of life from twinkle to wrinkle. The Lifelong Learning Award originated in school year 1991-1992 when Southwest Independent School District found the adult education classes filled with a heightened level of enjoyment, zeal for learning, and desire to succeed. The Southwest Independent School District Adult Education Graduation Class of 1991-1992 had a member who exemplified the attributes of a true lifelong learner. Mrs. Bertha C. Ludwig graduated with her GED that year. She had always wanted to complete her education, but many life experiences required her attention, leaving little time for school. Mrs. Ludwig has always valued learning and education. It is not unusual to hear her say, I'm just curious about things. Life is full of things to learn, and I learn something new every day. She enjoys sharing her knowledge, her talents, and her life with those around her. Each year, Southwest Independent School District recognizes a lifelong learner amongst its graduating class. Mrs. Ludwig has been with us each year to present this award.
Uh, if you can please help me uh, honor and um, congratulate Ms. Sandra Sandoval, who's received a lifelong learner for this year's graduating class. tell you a little bit about Ms. Sandoval. Ms. Sandoval has uh, been, a, played a big part in this graduating class here. Uh, we have uh, called her our little, our Pied Piper. I know she's encouraged a lot of uh, students, not only in the GED class, but in the ESL class. She's spent many hours volunteering with our program, uh, with adult ed, with community ed, and also with after school programs. So um, she has done all of this and tried to reach her goal, and she, set, she, told, she sits on our community education advisory committee as well. Um, in our first meeting, she sat in there and said, uh, spoke about who she was in front of people from all areas that, that, that we invite to this committee. One person in that uh, uh, group was from Palo Alto College, and Sandra stood up and said who she was, and she says, I'm a GED student, she goes, and this year I am going to get my GED. So um, the representative from Palo Alto was so excited to hear that. She goes, if you finish your GED, I will give you a scholarship to come to Palo Alto. So, so she's done great things, and she's going to continue to do great things. We're going to call Ms. Bermea up here, and she will then uh, award some of our achievement uh, certificates. Good evening. Bienvenidos a todos. Gracias. We have um, another special group of students we would like to honor tonight. They are the Southwest Independent School District ESL Achievement Certificate recipients and also our Citizenship Achie Achievement Award recipient. The ESL Achievement Award honors those students with outstanding dedication to attending and surpassing the 60-hour class requirement. The majority of our students earned over 120 hours of instructional time. Our ESL Achievement Award recipients are, and as I call your name, please come up, please. Irma Ayoyo. Irma, come on down. Maria Borjas. Marcel Diaz.
María Guadalupe Guerrero. María Hernández. Elena Rangel. San Juanita Rosales. María Saceda. Marta Saceda, sister. Laura Valdez. Veronica de la Rosa. And Berta Carrasco. The Southwest, uh, Southwest ISD Citizenship Achievement Award recognizes a student who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and ongoing ter determination to achieving United States citizenship during the 2015-16 school year. Please join us in congratulating Ms. Sylvia Cruz. Tonight, we honor another student who has achieved the highest score in the GED examination series for the 2015-16 academic school year. Join us in congratulating this year's recipient of the Academic Excellence Award, our newest addition to our adult education program, as our GED math tutor, Ms. Alejandra de la Garza. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Dr. Verstiff, will you assist us? Thank you. <laughs> Graduates, this is your moment. At this time, when I call your name, please rise to receive your certificate. Haley Nicole Bellamy. Jonathan Chapa. Claudia Cecilia Cisneros.
Alejandra de la Garza. Miriam Guerrero. Elizabeth Nicole Hawkins. Araceli Montes. Carolyn McVeigh. Rafaela Gia Leal. Sandra Sandoval. Alejandra Serna. Isenia Vasquez. <laughs> and Shade Woodard. I'd like to ask Ms. Kim, Ms. Kim Benton if she would please join us for certification of the students. Dr. Versta. Can everybody hear me? Okay. <laughs> As coordinator for Region 20 Adult Education and Literacy, I hereby certify that these students have completed all requirements needed to receive the General Education Development Certificate of Completion. Graduates, please rise. Please stand, well you're standing, thank you. <laughs> Turn your tassels to the left, signifying your completion of the GED requirements. Congratulations. You can please uh, have a seat. We have one more surprise for you. Please help me uh, welcome Ms. Leah Ortiz. She will be delivering a special performance today. Well, I just want to say congratulations, and hope you like the song, because I asked for fun. I sure you love the song, because uh, I truly mean every word, and I hope that it helps you to know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Leah. Miss Leah Ortiz will be graduating this year from high school. She is one of our community education babies. That's what we call her. She's been around community ed for all of her life, so we're trying to transition her. <laughs> um, I want to uh, recognize a couple and thank a couple of people and thank uh, uh, a couple of people that are here that have helped make uh, help these students get to where they have come today. Um, I want to introduce Ms. Kimberly Vinton. She is uh, with Region 20, the Educational Service Center. This is our partners that help us provide the uh, instructors for the program. Um, we have, I believe, Ms. Aldalco is here. Will you please rise, Ms. Aldalco? She's way in the back. She is our GED instructor at uh, McAuliffe. Um, I just want uh, to make sure. Uh, to um, congratulate you and for you to always remember with community education, you're all community ed educators now. So one thing that I'm gonna task you guys with, I know I spoke to you the other day when we were practice, is to pay it forward. Okay, Southwest needs parents and individuals like you and we pride ourselves with, with, in that. We want everybody to be able to help everybody and I believe that you are, are, are very close to that, the next step. Congratulations again. I want to thank all of our families here. Families, I know without you, a lot of these individuals were, would not be able to, to come to class and, and do the work they had to do. Um, some, we have some individuals who did it independently, and, and I applaud you for that as well. It's, it wasn't easy, I know that. Um, but the devotion that you all showed them was, was, was just outstanding. Thank you.